Hi, this is Susie Keel, and this is episode 17 of The Abundance Show. Be you, become abundant. This is where you learn tools and um, tools and tips to help you open your heart to love so you can become more abundant and live your freedom lifestyle. That's my mission. And I want to touch millions of hearts. Today we're going, I'm talking with Sydney Allen, who is also um, a reader and a very spiritual person, but also a passionate owner of the Heart Whisper Oracle Cards. The Heart Cards, I came out of my healing process. So before we get into her story, I just want to share with you how if you order a deck of these cards, how they come. So they do come flat packed like this in a little bag because that makes the, the postage not quite so expensive. Well, um, and they now come with a little swing tag here. And a picture of Susie on the back. So you know there. They come with a personalised message in the thing. And a painting. This is what makes the card so unique. These They now come with a painting that is kind of this size. These will be some of the cards that will be in the next deck. And these are the painting you can then put in a frame, put on your wall, which is what Sydney has done. So now I want to introduce you to um, Sydney Allen, who lives in upstate New York. And I met because through Facebook and because of these cards. Welcome, Sydney, to The Abundance Show. Hi, Susie. I'm thrilled to be here. And I just love the cards. I have loved them so much that on one trip, I left them in a hotel room. So I had to buy them again. <laughs> <laughs> she did. And um, as she told me, uh, because she's not at home, she can't show you, but we're going to put it up in the post, is um, she has a, a blue heart painting, which she has on her wall at home. So, yeah. Sydney, um, when you first bought these cards, can you share with people um, why these cards are so special to you? When I first bought these cards, it was at a time when everything in my life was changing all at the same time. And it felt like it was just all falling apart some for good reasons and some for bad. But the biggest thing was that I was single for the first time in almost 40 years. And I felt like I had no solid ground under me and I just went into lockdown. The only safe place was the beach. <laughs> I understand the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and these cards came into my life and after... I don't know, probably several weeks, a few months of working with them every day, all those gentle messages just started to open a little window and the world stopped being such a scary place. And I could let my heart open again. And it's been a real, it's been an indescribable gift. It made the things I want not so horrible. They didn't make me such a terrible person. And they were possible. And I, I can't thank you enough. It's just, it's just been amazing. It's just been amazing. It just amazing. It makes my heart sing. It was just recently I've been getting some amazing feedback. And I had no idea um, when I... You know, I spent months sort of choosing the paintings. If anybody wants to know, mm. yeah, I painted uh, hearts for 365 days and a lot of those are in here. I channeled the messages 
I had learned to read cards um, many, many years ago from Doreen Virtue and they are the cards that are back on the shelf over there. I have boxes of those cards. But what I did with these cards, and I don't know whether I consciously did it or not, but they are all positive. Every message is uplifting. It might be threat it might be challenging to you at the time. <laughs> um, you know, some of the messages, um, like so the card that I drew this morning, which is I I love this card, um, is the knowing card. And I think I actually gave this painting away to somebody as or I turned it into a birthday card. I turned some of my paintings into a birthday card. Knowing you are enough allows you to let go and trust. Then watch your life transform. And one of the okay. things that I find, I don't know about Sydney, but, you know, a lot of the people I work with, a lot of females my age and younger feel they are not enough. They need more. Do you, feel, do you find that? I find that a lot and that you have to the feeling of knowing more or having more or somehow being more and that that knowing card is one of the cards that I would say underlies the entire deck oh thank you very much <laughs> I mean it's interesting I know because I talked with um Sydney last week that um, this is this is one of her favourite cards, yes. the freedom card, which is one of my favourite cards because freedom is my top value um, in life. This is another one of her favourite cards, which is expect miracles. Um, and the this one... Um, and the other one she mentioned the other day, which was Imagine, which is the only card that does not have a heart on it. There's not even a little, you know, sometimes there's a heart tucked away. But this one was a painting I did at another time, but it seemed right for the Imagine card. And both of these um, are on T-shirts and um, at Amazon, actually. And... Um, yeah. Yeah, I own this one and about to buy a new one because it's on white. <laughs> I think I'll get it on black next time so I don't spill things on it. So that's it. So that's, you know, this is, you know, and Sydney, as she said, she left her cards somewhere and she couldn't live without them. So she had to order another set. And, yeah. you know, what a lot of people do, especially, you know, this time of the year I have people buying cards to give to their friends um, as presents because they've had success with them as well and because um because sydney you know offered to share her story and things i wanted to share today with you um this is sort of a shortened version of what happens when you book a reading with me and um if you buy the cards from me I do offer all the people who own the cards a discounted reading price. So you get something special as well. And I ask a lot of questions first. So what we're doing today is I've actually asked Sydney um, because I'm working on the next deck of cards and it's the Heart Whisper Wisdom Cards for Entrepreneurs. Because most of you know I'm an entrepreneur I've been an entrepreneur since in my 30s when I set up my own textile business and what I love about being an entrepreneur is it enables me to have a much bigger impact um, on the world. It allows me to help open more people's hearts to love to live in abundance. So I asked um, Sydney today, what would make a difference to her? How, you know, what's the impact she wants to make in the world? Well, she wants to help women and girls to be able to see their dreams, to step up and live a life of freedom. 
you know, we have here the, I did have it, I put it away now, yeah. we have here, you know, the, our life of freedom, freedom where we let go of all our fear, you know, we step into our own power. And, you know, whether it's for women and men, some of us, I work with women and men. I have a lot of men who are now buying these decks of cards as well. But that uh, for Sydney. And so to do that, she needs to expand her business, bring the people she who are called to work with her. So I'm going to do a reading today with Sydney on to see how um, what her heart's whispering and where what might be her next step forward in um, creating living her passion and impacting the world now what we're going to do first is um, if you if we were doing this either um yeah, we know, I normally do them on Skype and that's so it can be recorded so you can have that. And initially I would normally do um, a meditation. But because we're doing this as an interview, first of all, we're just going to do... Uh, so, Sydney, just get still and just put your hands on your heart and take in a deep breath. <sighs> we ask this reading for Sydney to give her clarity and to allow her to create more financial freedom so that she can live her passion and make a bigger impact on the world. And we ask that her guides, her angels, be here to support her today. Namaste. Okay, right, let's see here, let's see what, okay, right, so normally I would just, well, I follow what my heart says, but oh, this is interesting, your cards and are not shuffling straight and up and down there going in and out and that's what happens sometimes sometimes it's just very straight like this or sometimes there's ones that want to jump out to the side and i shuffle until i sort of get a sign to stop and i just got that then so we're going to take um the, th the first card is going to be Mm, this is going to be your challenge card. This is going to be the challenge card. The second card is going to be what you will um, focus on. And the third card is where you're moving to. These are none of your favourite cards, but they're going to be challenging to you, I think. So the first card is follow your heart. And my question there is, um, when you wake each day, are you doing what you really, really want to be doing? Or are you doing what you feel you need to be doing? Most of the time, it is what I really want to be doing. Oh, that's I feel good. Like yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the message on the card for everybody who's watching is embrace your path with love and you'll find the gift your heart knows with, is within. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing, so, um, so that gives you, that's, this is the challenge. The challenge card for you is this, is to follow your heart. So is mm -hmm. in following your heart, is that allowing you to create your freedom lifestyle? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. So my... Um, sometimes oh, mm. There's a standardness. Yeah. So there's some work, there's something there. So it's... Um, so, like, 
Do you meditate each morning? Yes. That was the following my heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So following your heart. So um, what are, yeah, so we, one of the things is, so when you're finishing the meditation, you might be saying, what is it my heart wants me to do today that will allow me to move my business further towards yeah. So because, you know, some days my heart might just want me to go to the beach. Which is great, <laughs> which is wonderful because um, I love, and I mean, I don't take my computer to the beach, but, and I often journal at the beach. I take my phone to the beach. But sometimes I'm learning that, um, you know, everybody says, you know, do, do what you love and the money will follow, um, but that doesn't always work. I don't know whether you found that or not, but I found <laughs> when I yeah. had a textile business, I was doing what I loved. And the money did mm -hmm. flow. Money really did flow. But then things changed. So I had mm -hmm. to change. And so now, um, yeah, I found a way that I love, where I work with a heart-centered community, that I can follow my heart. I can still open people's hearts to love. But it's allowing me a way to create a bigger impact in the world. Right. And... I have to do some stuff that I don't always want to do. You know, I have to, you know, you notice me, I'm live every day. Um, I'm, I'm having to be out there so that people do know what I'm doing because if I hide it away, I don't really know. It. And um, or if I do as somebody once told me, um, Susie, I'd love to do a reading with you, but it was so hard to find it on your page. So it's, you know, <laughs> it's your website open and welcoming as well. So your challenge card is to be open. To be open. When you open your heart to love, the world opens up and your desires manifest. So yeah. what I'm hearing is, oh, you might like this. There's a part of you that's stuck, um, that's stopping you moving forward. You're being, you're about to be offered ways that um, are going to expand your business and are going to allow more people to know who you are. Um, yes. And it might require you to um, be seen more. Yes, um, yes, it will. Particularly on, I think, um, on social media. Because I, mm. yeah, because when I went to your page, I couldn't find out much about you. I thought, oh, yeah. oh that's right, yeah. And I thought, so the, this says to me, and I'm getting a sense of this, you've got this beautiful personality, but you're hiding it away from the world. People aren't seeing you. People are not seeing the gift that you are <laughs> to the world. How does that make you feel? Um, surprised, mm. <laughs> I guess. Um, surprised because I I wasn't thinking of it as as hiding, but I do know that with the business page, I need to revamp the business page. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, people need to know who you are, people need to know what you're offering, people need to know more about you, your life. Because what I discovered, mm -hmm. you know, as you, you watch, you guys all watch me on the beach, you know what I do, um, you yeah. know, I colour my hair, you know, I wear, I've got all these different hats, um, I share all my, you know, I share my art, you know, I've recently put, you know, and I'm all about, everybody knows, I'm all about love. Um, but I thought I was doing quite well till a mentor said, well, you know, um, you need to really be out there. And I thought, wow, I thought I was doing really well. So it's, yeah, it's that thing of being, uh, you're going to be offered a few things that are going to allow you to really shine. And that will help you become much more confident. Your confidence will soar. Um, because, you know, the message on the card, which you know, your confidence soars when you allow imperfection to be your friend. 
Yeah. Uh, from this, <laughs> this perfectionist here, are you a perfectionist? Yes. You like to, <laughs> right. Okay. So what I'm learning in the entrepreneurial world is you have to put it out there. It's not always going to be ready. As somebody said, when Bill Gates put Microsoft things out, they weren't always ready. Steve Jobs with the Apple and things, put things out, mm -hmm. not always ready, and refine it. And it's our, in our perfectionism, we stop, we actually block ourselves um, from really sharing those true gifts that we've got with the world. Oh, and I've just drawn, yeah. Okay. I'm just picking up the next four cards as they come. And I uh -huh. like, just get, yeah, just watch as they come and see how you react. Okay. Knowing, no. so the confidence comes when you know you are enough. You really trust those whispers of your heart. Ask yourself, are you dreaming big enough? <laughs> is your dream, is what you're doing each day really, um, are you dreaming big enough? Because when you dream big enough and you follow this one path that's going to help you mm -hmm. really expand, prosperity will come. Mm. That is, I mean, I just pick, I thought I'll just pick up the next card. I'll take a photo of them so you've got them. Or you'll have okay, them. good. Um, so there you've got, there's something, there's some whisper in here that needs to sort of come out more that you need to be open to. It's going to give you this confidence uh, that's going to lead you to this true different. prosperity because it's one of the things that, you actually want you want financial freedom yeah and why do we all want financial freedom because when we have financial freedom we can create a bigger impact on the world when we're yeah. just getting by it's it's tough it's tough we can't um we can't do all the things that we want to do that will empower other people as well right now, is there anything you'd like to add to what I've got reading there? Well, it all made perfect sense. And it dovetailed so, so perfectly. Because when I drew, you know, I draw three cards every day. Mm. from the and, I, and, and the first card I drew was the freedom card. <laughs> Today? Today. Today, you drew Today. the card. What was the next one you drew? Uh, the next one I drew was flow. Was that your horizons expand as you allow your heart to open and flow. And, um, and my third card was, yes, that one. And my third card was dream big. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let me just get the freedom card. So that that dovetails into um, this perfectly. Yeah, I can't find. It. I just yeah. oh, right. So so yeah. So freedom freedom comes when we let go of any fear, um, and you know when there's fear, there can't be love. So we need to let go of the fear, the fear of playing small, the fear of not having enough money, all the things that stop us doing that. And then that allows us, we need to be in flow. We need to make what we're doing not be a hustle, but to flow into, you know, we want to flow into freedom. But if our dreams aren't big enough, we hold ourselves back. And I understand that because I used to think I had a really big dream. But, you know, after I got sick and that, I pushed a lot of that away. 
but now I have a really big dream. You know, I have this very big dream. I'm on the, it'll be on the stages of the internet because of how it's going, but I'm on the stages of the world as well. All my art and things behind me, all the words, freedom, flow, love, all of that. And, you know, I'm truly helping people to love themselves into abundance. And um, we can all do this. So your yep. reading today um, was perfect for what's come up here to uh, these cards as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I can pick it better. So if I was um, taking the next step, what I would be doing um, after I've done this reading, I would be giving Sydney um, tools and steps uh, to move forward and then giving her um, the opportunity to um, work with me um, to actually really expand her business and grow in that way. Um, so just so people know, and there will be in the next day, um, whole new pages, I'll put the links in, uh, for when I put this up where you can get your cards, get your decks of cards and book the readings. Sydney, I want to thank you so much for sharing your story and allowing me to, um, I think, open your heart even a bit wider. But now we're going to be expanding your entrepreneurial side so that you can um, live and have this freedom lifestyle. Yes. Is there well, anything you, you would like to say um, in finishing? That this was that this was amazing, and I want to tell you, you have been such an inspiration. I do a new moon and full moon reading um, online every month, and your cards are always a part of it. I own many many decks, and I throw cards in from various decks over the months. But there's always the heart whispers are always there. They, that is beautiful. Do, do every it, time. It makes me feel so special. So <laughs> I want to thank everybody who's been watching um, today. And I also want to let people know that um, the next, we have such a busy week this week with the, um, uh, with the Abundance Show. On the 12th, oh. the 12th of the 12th at 12, we'll have my beautiful friend, Bobby F. Parha. And we're going to be talking about the energy of the number 12, December, but what we all need to be doing so that we hit 2020 with clarity and having that big dream very clear. And then on Friday, we'll have my friend, uh, my psychic medium friend, Beth Elaine Haynes on, and we'll be live side by side and we'll be um, taking questions, talking about self-love, loving yourself into abundance. So thank you again, Sydney. And I'm looking forward to the day that I'm in the States or maybe you're in Australia. We get yes. to give one another a real hug. Absolutely. I can hardly. And this is the painting. This is the card that the painting I have was. Oh, you've got the acceptance card. Oh, beautiful. Mm, the acceptance painting. And that was, I think, when I was sending out larger paintings. They were more paintings this size that were wrapped around and you had to iron them. Right. Yes. Okay, so those now, nowadays, the paintings are the smaller ones. Um, they just, because they fit behind the cards. And I've run out of, I don't have as many to wrap around and whatever. So. <laughs> And also I'm about to start to sell my paintings again too. So anyway, so thank you once again. Thanks everybody for watching and make sure that you've subscribed, um, whether you're watching this on my blog, on Facebook or on YouTube, that you've actually subscribed to The Abundance Show. Remember, be you, become abundant. Namaste. Namaste.